Budgetary control is an integral part of any organization. Within Microsoft Dynamics AX2012, we provide strong functionality to facilitate this. So if I click on my purchase ledger, and just select my all purchase orders function, a list of all my purchase orders for this particular legal entity will be revealed on screen. What I want to do for this demonstration is add a new purchase order. So if I select it on the action ribbon, it will enable me to select which supplier I want to order the goods or services from. If I click OK, a new purchase order window will be revealed on screen. I'm just going to select an item from my inventory list to order in this case. And if I tab across, I just want to fill in details for size and color so that I can select the variant of this item to order and the site and warehouse so I know which location I'm ordering to. I can then enter a quantity that I want to order. So I'm now in a position that I can perform a budget check. So if I go to financials and perform budget check, the budget check results will now be shown on the line as an icon and in this case it's a green tick to show that I'm within budget. This means I'm good to go so what I can do is I can confirm this order ready to be sent out to the supplier. All transactions in Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 can have a budget check performed and budget transfers where necessary. I'm just going to use the navigation pane on the left hand side here to select my budgeting module. Budgets are entered into Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 as budget register entries. So if I just select budget register entries from my common tools a list of existing register entries are shown here. Each has a header and within the header multiple lines of detail including currency, value, date and obviously the main account's purpose. You can also perform reporting from within the budgeting module. So budget control statistics enables me to quickly and easily show my budgetary position based upon a cycle, in this case a financial year. I have multiple models that I can have set up within each legal entity. I'm just going to select a main account for this purpose, but you could use a budget group which groups together main accounts or dimensions for budgeting purposes. So just doing that now shows underneath by period, budget funds available, my revised budget, any actual expenditure, encumbrances or purchase orders and pre-encumbrances, in this case it's purchase requisitions for this particular makeup of budget. At the top I can then drill down into actual transactions or encumbrances if I wanted to and see how they were made up from different transactions. In this case I've got one purchase order for £7,500. On the right hand side of the screen I have fact boxes to show additional information from around the system for this particular budget setup.